here at Dick Sporting Goods in Domain, Austin, Texas, baby. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another video. We are in front of Dick Sporting Goods, and today we're gonna get fitted for running shoes at Dick's. You guys probably saw my last video of how to get fitted at like a Fleet Feet or specialized running store. But then a lot of you guys were like, yo, I don't have a Fleet Feet or a Roadrunner or whatever of those specialized running stores, but you have a Dick Sporting Goods. So we're gonna see how they go through their process of getting you fitted for a pair of running shoes. So tag along, let's do it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So there's a bunch of nice people here. What's your name? Kayla. Kayla? Matt, nice to meet you, man. So we're here with Caleb, and he's about to help me get fitted with the Brannick device. So Dix doesn't actually have like a whole system to 3D foot scan and go through the whole shindig of getting your foot scanned, but you don't actually need that if you are a new runner or you're just getting into running. So this is very old school, but he's gonna kind of go through how we actually get fitted for this. And at the end of the day, you'll at least get an idea of what your size is. For most people, you wanna make sure that you get the proper size and start there first before you figure out if you have a low arch, high arch, neutral arch. Um, this is gonna at least give us information on how or what size we need for shoes. All right, so basically right here we have a Brannick device and this is gonna be the fit soft sole. So basically on this one, it's just gonna normally size your foot uh, with your socks off each foot just in case some people's shoes are different. Um, for this one, you're just gonna put your feet on here and it's gonna show you got a low arch, neutral arch, or high arch based on the pressure point. Uh, so both of these, I'm just gonna size them real quick and then we'll grab some stuff in the back. Oh yeah, let's do it. So basically with this, I'm just gonna start off easy with uh, getting a size down on each foot because some people's sizes are different on each foot. So I'm just gonna take your left foot real quick. I'm gonna stick it right there, stand up straight. So it looks you're about 11, maybe 11 and a half. Is that a typical yeah. what you wear? Yeah. All right, so that should be good. You can try your other shoe too just to make sure. So that one, so that one's he's actually more of yeah. an 11 and a half, maybe even a 12. So your feet are just a little bit different. Yep. So we can try maybe like 11, 11 and a half, and even a 12 if we need to go up there. But if you say 11 or 11 and a half is typically your size, we'll do that. Perfect. You can also grab this since we are looking for some running shoes. We'll go ahead and just stand on there for about 20, 15, 20 seconds. So keep that in mind, guys, as you're getting fitted for shoes, right? Like Caleb just said, like your feet might be different sizes, and we talked about that in the last video. Like, make sure that you have an idea of what size shoe you are. Because if you get a shoe that is too tight and too narrow on the toe box, your pinky, like your foot is gonna look like this, and you're gonna be really, really aching, especially at your foot. So make sure you get a size that is right for you. So Caleb, kind of talk, how long I hold this for 20 seconds? Yeah, 15, 20 seconds. So basically as he stands on the platform, uh, it's gonna light up kind of green. Uh, on the pressure point and it's going to basically show if it's really really filled in around the whole foot he's going to have a low arch which means he's going to need a shoe typically that's pretty neutral um, if it has a neutral arch it's going to be a little bit uh, less filled in and then on that high arch uh, if it's really thin you're going to need a shoe that uh, is basically a stability shoe which we have like nike like the nike invincibles mm -hmm. and then we could always try something else if you want to just keep exploring hell yeah hell yeah so it's been about 20 seconds we should, knowing me, I probably have more of a neutral arch, and that's typically the running shoes I get, but in three seconds, we're about to find out. So yeah, you do have about a neutral arch, yeah. so yeah. So as you guys see here, right, there's not as much pressure here, right where the arch actually is in your foot. Um, if you have a low arch, which basically means that like your foot is basically super pressed into the ground, this would be a lot more of a green color. And if you see, like if I press there, it, it would be there, but I wasn't my arch was not there. Um, and then if you have a high arch, and obviously this also does help if you guys need some form of insoles. Um, so just keep that in mind, like this is good information to know. You don't need all the super high techie stuff to get the same information that you get at, for with a 3D scan. This is still pretty tried and true in terms of getting fitted for shoes. So if you're at a local Dick Sporting Goods, like you can get fitted for running shoes and you guys have guys like Caleb to help you out. All right, so we have some options here. Obviously we are Dick Sporting Goods, so there's a ton of shoe brands here. We're gonna focus here on some of the Nike options, which I'm a big fan of the Pegasus 39 and then the Invincible Run 2. Now this is really good for a new runner or a beginner runner because these are daily training shoes. There's no carbon fiber plate in this shoe, so you can actually bend the midsole here as you guys kind of, there's not as much of that like thickness in the actual midsole, but daily trainers are really good for new runners because you guys don't want the carbon plate in the actual shoe because that's typically used for race day. So these are two really good options for a daily trainer. We're gonna try them on 
and then run around the dicks a little bit. So we'll get these on. So four airbags versus two for the previous model. Okay. That's the type of, look, my guy Andrew, we got Caleb here. They're making this shit happen here at Dick Sporting Goods. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, I'm a big fan of this like white cream color. The only negative is in Austin, Texas, you go to Lady Bird. <laughs> these are gonna get torched in like one session. So these are the Nike Invincible Run 2. So this is a max cushion shoe. It's a lot more for, it's pretty much, it's more of a stability shoe, but it's good for long runs or just easy pace efforts because if you look at the cushion, there's so much cushion in this shoe. It's kind of like what you think of when you see like a like a Hoka Clifton 8 or um, anything that has max cushion. So this is a really fun shoe. I like using this on very easy pace, long efforts. Um, but let's actually test them out, run around in dicks a little bit. Let's go. These shoes are super, super cushiony. That max cushion is really gonna make you feel like you're almost like walking, running on clouds. So this is a good option if you're going on a very, really long run and you basically need a lot of cushion. Um, then we're gonna try on the 39s and see what the Pegasus are like, but invincible run twos, can't go wrong. Next we have Pegasus 39s. This is pretty much Nike's like tried and true daily trainer. As you guys can see, right? Look at the difference between this midsole. A daily trainer, you should be able to bend the midsole. You have a carbon fiber shoe, look at this. That's not going anywhere, but this carbon fiber plate is giving you a lot of extra propulsion and giving you a lot of extra energy return. So that's kind of the difference and this is why you want to race in these, but you want to train in a shoe like this. Go up, you gotta go down. So the Nike Pegasus 39s, super comfortable. Honestly, this is one of my favorite daily trainers. You can use this if you have a track workout. You can use this on an easy pace effort. Even on some long runs, I've stretched these out from 13 to 16 miles on a long run and they still do pretty well. Really good shoe, it's very durable. You can get three to 300 to 400 miles of wear and tear on these Pegasus 39s. And honestly, dude, the red, it just makes you feel like you're running faster, dog. It makes you feel like you're running faster. If they haven't told you, Colorful apparel or running products makes you run faster. You heard it here first. Go get some colors. So these are the Alpha Fly Next Percent 2. These are the newest version of the Alpha Flies. And as you guys can see, look at this plate. You see that? This is, first of all, super light, but this carbon plate is no joke. You can run really, really fast in these. I've actually never ran in the Alpha Flies. I normally run in the Next Percent 2s, which are still a really fast shoe. But this, if you just hear this, like, this plate here is no joke. You will hit a PR in this shoe. Let's test them out. God, putting these on, this might be the hardest freaking battle. The shoe itself, like this material is like that kind of fly knit, so it's super light. But the actual base, like you feel one, I'm like probably 6'3 or 6'4 in these shoes because it's making me a little bit taller. Um, but all this mesh material is super lightweight, but then the, the carbon fiber plate, like it, it's super light but you feel like you have a lot of support. So it should help us run around Dick's in the fastest time in a 400 meter inside of Dick's Sporting Goods. Let's test it out. So we just run tested the Alpha Fly Next Percent 2. As y'all can tell, I'm sweating right now. I'm almost getting my second workout in, but these shoes are no joke. A lot of cushion and honestly, this little freaking Foam, I don't even know what it's called, but this little pad, it gives you a lot of energy return and it's a little bit different than what I'm used to with the Next Percent 2s. Honestly, these shoes are super, super light and I just feel like, I feel fast when I'm running in these and naturally because the heel, because the arch is so big here on the actual midsole, because it's so thick, you almost feel like you're, you can't, it's harder to heel strike with these because naturally your heel is elevated so high, but these are really fun to run in. These might be my next race day shoes, we'll see. All the running specialists at Dicks are super helpful. They're really knowledgeable about all the shoe brands as well as like having a higher arch, lower arch, neutral arch. I think I just got a ton of good insight. If you guys are a beginner runner or a new runner, definitely check out your local Dick's Sporting Goods. They'll get you fitted for the right shoe, make sure you have the right size, and then get you guys the right 
proper fitting running shoe. So that is the video. We have Andrew, we have Caleb. They helped me out a ton while I was getting fitted here. Guys, really quick, we have the Brandix device and then our Fit Sole Pad. Basically, this is testing your arch and this is testing your actual foot size. Um, you guys have a ton of people that come in here. What would be some piece of advice for someone that's new to running? I guess, how would you kind of sell them on coming to get fitted at Dick's? Yeah, so basically a lot of people don't really know what they need when they come in and uh, sometimes you can't really see it, other times you can. Some people are afraid to ask uh, what you need. Um, that's what we're here for. And definitely help you out, get you sized. Um, a lot of people think asking for too many shoes to try on is a bad thing. <laughs> uh, get what you need and we will definitely help you out. That's what we're here for is to help you guys. Hell yeah. Love that. Love that. And you got anything? Want um, to add? Not necessarily what, Caleb, what Mr. Caleb said was basically what I was going to say as well. But you know, we're here to help people out. Yeah. We can bring out, I'll bring you out 15 shoes. I'll bring you out two <laughs> shoes, I'll bring you out five shoes. Hell yeah. I want you to test drive, test drive the shoe and figure out what you really want at the end of the day. I love that, I love that. You guys heard it here first. If you guys come get fitted at Dick's, don't be afraid to ask questions. And honestly, test out all the shoes you want to test out. I mean, at the end of the day, they're here to help out. So keep that in mind. If you guys got any value out of this video, make sure you smash the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And then drop in the comments what video you guys want to see next. But until next time, come shop at Dick's Sporting Goods. Come check them out here in Austin, Texas. We're out. Deuces.